job security is hard to come by, especially in MMA. Talking job security in the UFC. They cut a massive amount of people. Um, I think everybody starts to realize that they're not safe. Yeah, the cuts are, it's a, it's a stressful thing. This is a list of people who have worked for the UFC at one time and have since been fired, released, or suspended. These are the top 10 firings in the UFC. You are terminated. Number 10. Ring card girl Shandella Powell vanished from the UFC after a series of nude photos were released in 2012. It takes a little bit of your dignity away, but you'll be rich after that, I guess. <laughs> the pictures violated the UFC's strict code of conduct policy. Unrelated side note. Current UFC ring girl Ariane Celeste can be found in this month's issue of Playboy, as well as former ring girl Rochelle Leah. Number 9. Former WEC champion Miguel Torres was fired from the UFC after posting an insensitive tweet. I thought this was, was offensive. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous and stupid. The tweet was posted in 2011 and read, If a rape van was called a surprise van, more women wouldn't mind going for rides in them. Torres deleted the tweet after receiving criticism, but was promptly fired by the UFC. Torres later apologized for the tweet and made several donations to rape support groups and was later rehired. Um, rape is the new missionary, okay? Number eight. Jake Shields went 4-3 and three in the UFC and fought George St. Pierre for the welterweight championship at UFC 129. Shields was released from his UFC contract after losing only one of his last five fights. Many thought he was released due to his boring style, although UFC President Dana White stated it was simply about money. Good luck with your layoffs, all right? I hope your firings go really well. Okay. Thanks a lot. Great. <laughs> wow. Number seven. John Fitch was fired by Dana White in 2008 for not wanting to sign over his likeness for the UFC video game. You're kind of stalemating here in the clinch, Mike. A deal was reached and Fitch was rehired within 24 hours, but was released yet again after losing to Damian Maya at UFC 156. If I want to fall asleep and I can't get to sleep at night, I'll put in a John Fitch fight. Fitch is now involved in a class action suit against the UFC. Well, like we were animals. I yeah, felt like we were treated like animals and expected to behave like animals. Number 6. Vanderlei Silva was recently released from his UFC contract after claiming to have evidence the UFC fixed fights. The UFC sued Vanderlei over the comments, prompting Silva to release a statement quoting, I understand the UFC's reputation would be harmed if my fans and others actually believe the UFC engaged in fight fixing, and I have no evidence to support such a claim. Silva was given a lifetime ban from competing in MMA by the Nevada Athletic Commission after running away from a drug test in 2014. The ban was recently overturned, and Silva remains a free agent as of now. Ha! Uh. Number 5. Husamar Palharis was terminated from his UFC contract in 2013. After defeating his opponent Mike Pierce, Palharis failed to release a leg lock even after the fight was stopped. Palharis was later fired from the World Series of Fighting for the same thing and banned from MMA for two years. You're fired! You will never hear me say a negative thing about Donald Trump. Donald will get my vote. Number four. Jason High was fired after he shoved a referee. And Jason High, not happy about it at all, pushes the ref. As soon as I heard he put his hands on a referee, he's done. So you didn't get video of it or anything first and look at it? Just... I don't have to look at it. You touched the referee. You're done. You're fired. And in case your ears are fucked, get the fuck out! He was also suspended from MMA for one year and fined $1,900 by the New Mexico State Athletic Commission. Zufa has a strict policy on shoving referees. Although, if you have a referee knockout on your resume, you just might get hired by the UFC. Number 3. Burt Watson worked for the UFC for 14 years before parting ways with the company. What we do is what we do. Burt was the site coordinator for the UFC, working mostly behind the scenes helping fighters prepare for the event and weigh-ins. Anything, the only stupid question, son, is the one you don't ask me. Anything else, I got you. 
According to Watson, a high-level executive in the UFC criticized and belittled him for not securing proper transportation for a fighter. I mean, what exactly happened that led to all this? I got a phone call from a high-level executive wondering why or where Mark Munoz was and was he picked up at the arena. My integrity and my work ethics was questioned. Watson resigned in protest and has since been hired by the CFFC as their new head of fighter relations. Number two, John Jones wasn't fired, but was suspended from the UFC indefinitely and stripped of his light heavyweight championship after committing multiple felonies. And that breaking news we have just learned, UFC star John Bones Jones is being suspended and stripped of his championship title. In 2015, Jones ran a red light, crashing into a pregnant woman's car. Jones fled the scene and evaded police for over 24 hours before turning himself in. Honestly, um, I think John Jones is bad for the sport. Jones's criminal history is too lengthy to list here. But after several offenses, the UFC was forced to suspend him. He, you know, he hit a pregnant lady and uh, she broke her arm and now he's, he's facing a civil suit and he's facing, uh, you know, the charges for hit and run, so. Number one, Jacob Stitch Duran is a cut man and worked for the UFC since 2001, but he was fired after making negative comments towards Reebok. They were not going to give us sponsorship monies and wanted us to wear Reebok, to me, on a business aspect, that doesn't make sense. Many fans and fighters were upset over the firing of Stitch, including Chris Weidman, Ian McCall, and Wesley Snipes. When Dana White was asked about the firing, he responded, Stitch Duran was never my friend. Stitch continues to work as a cut man in other promotions, as well as boxing events. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. When you're getting ready to Twitter or you're getting ready to say something, think about what you're going to say, think about what you're going to tweet, and use a little common sense.